So I decided to order this um, inclinometer from eBay. Uh, Smitty Build makes a very similar one to this. They're, I guess it's uh, sold by a couple of different manufacturers. And they all share the same design and they look pretty much exactly the same. Um, even the price is very close to each other. I think for this one I paid about $30. But uh, I'm gonna be adding this to my Mitsubishi Montero which uh, the spot where I wanted to go is gonna be on top of the windshield above my rear view mirror. Uh, the only problem with the way that this particular in kilometers come out of the box is uh, for it to display uh, the car pitch um, properly. It has to be at uh, a little bit of an angle and it's designed to be mounted on a dashboard so that you can see it really well. And to set it up properly, this is the angle that it's gonna end up sitting on. And obviously if you mount it on top of the car to where it's gonna be pointing down about like so, it's gonna be way off. And right now I'm gonna to try to take it apart and uh, see if it could be adjusted. This assembly of this unit is actually extremely simple. Uh, first you gotta remove this uh, front cover off of it. Which reveals four screws behind it. Um, let's go ahead and take those off. So the front cover is off. Now there is two screws holding the whole unit in the back. So we're gonna remove those. And now the functional parts are out. Um, if you look inside of it, that's how the backlit LED is set up. So now looking at the unit itself, um, this is basically how it works. It has a weight on the bottom and as you move it, the weight tries to go to the heaviest spot, which then turns the indicator. Um, for the pitch, it's the same exact thing. The way that it's going to be sitting is going to be at about this angle. What I'm going to try to do is uh, move move this two gears in relation to each other so that in this position my uh, pitch indication is at the proper angle and what I was able to do is actually just apply a little bit of pressure to the gears pull them apart and move them and it literally took maybe two, three notches. And now I have the angle that I want and it's gonna be centered properly. Uh, reassembly is exact reversal of how I took it apart. Just make sure that you put it in the right way. Now onto the front glass. So now the final step is just to put this cover back on, which just snaps back into place. So the final test that I want to do is uh, see how accurate this um, Inclinometer is. So I'm going to use my uh, cell phone app to compare it against. So, first test looks like they're both pretty much even at being uh, leveled. Now, let's do 10 degrees. It is about 10 degrees, 20. 
It's pretty close to being 20. 30. We're pretty much spot on. And this last indication that it has uh, looks like it's about 35 degrees. So anything over that, I wouldn't try going in my car. Some cars can do that. Uh, with mine, with the way it's set up, I don't think it's going to be able to do much past 30 degrees. So This right here is how my inclinometer is going to be end up getting mounted in the car. Um, I wanted to use this spot above the rear view mirror, um, kind of a space that I don't really look through, and yet it's still there. Uh, and that's why I had to readjust the way that the angle that it wants to be sitting at. Because uh, otherwise it would be tilted up and I would have a hard time seeing it. So this is how it's gonna end up living in here. Um, and originally it was designed to be set up along something along these lines to where it basically sits on your dashboard and is tilted up like so. And it's tilted up this way. Which would have worked as well, but then I would have just too much stuff going on over here. So this is how it's gonna end up being. And I think I like it. Thanks everyone for watching and let me know if you found this video helpful. Thank you very much. Bye.